Mr. Kane. Charles Foster Kane? Oh, I don't know how to run a newspaper, Mr. Thatcher. I just try everything I can think of. Charles Foster Kane is a scoundrel. His paper should be run out of town. A committee should be formed to boycott him. Get in touch with everybody that ever knew him. That manager of his, uh, Bernstein. Am I a horse-faced hypocrite? Yes. His second wife. She's still living. Can't ever give me anything I really care about. It'll probably turn out to be a very simple thing. You're awful funny, aren't you? You know, Mr. Thatcher, at the rate of a million dollars a year, I'll have to close this place in 60 years. There's a lot of pictures and statues in Europe you haven't bought yet. You can't blame me, Mr. Bernstein. All right, world's biggest diamond. I didn't know Charlie was collecting diamonds. He ain't. You never really give me anything that belongs to you that you care about. Susan, I want you to stop this. 49,000 acres of nothing but scenery and statues. I'm lonesome. Never gave himself away. He never gave anything away. He just uh, left your tip. For you and this public thief to take the love of the people of this state away from me? Maria's been packing her since morning. Please don't go. Kane was a man who got everything he wanted and then lost it. Seldom visited, never photographed. An emperor of New Sprint continued to direct his failing empire. In case you haven't heard how I lost all my money, and it was plenty, believe me. The last ten years have been tough on a lot of people. Ah, oh, they haven't been tough on me. I just lost all my money. If I hadn't been very rich, I might have been a really great man. until noon. What time is it? Oh, I don't know. It's late. It's early. Yeah, the deranged millionaire. The deranged millionaire. He lived in a secret location, burning money all day. I know too many people. I guess we're both lonely. Yes, the deranged millionaire. The deranged millionaire. <laughs> 